Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about that great new photo cataloging, tagging and photo retrieval application from QNAP QMAGI. Now this is a big big deal. We've talked about it on the channel a few times and I've kind of tinkered with this application already on a few occasions but this is the first time I'm formally talking about this application here on YouTube. Now the reason is that QTS, the latest version of QTS, has now become available for you guys to download and upgrade your QNAP NAS to the latest version. Now, right now I am preparing a series of videos about multi-NAS backup, which unfortunately means in the room that I'm in right now, I'm surrounded by six NASs of different degrees and sizes, all of which are running backups at the same time. So I apologize in advance for the noise here, but it's just because I'm using one of these NASs to conduct this video. Now, if you are interested in taking advantage and learning more about QMAGI, you will need to install the application, which is currently in beta, found here, as well as the multimedia console application that's also become available in beta. It will make a lot more sense as the video continues. Um, at the moment, I've used all manner of memory while I've been using that to scan the files, but let's optimize this NAS here in the background while we work. Let that little Q boost do its thing. Now, it would be remiss of me not to highlight that Synology NAS have already had an application not dissimilar to this for around about nine to 10 months in the Synology Moments application. Now, I am doing a full comparison between um, QNAP's new QMAGI software and Synology Moments in the following video after this, because I've learned a lot of things about these two applications and the way they've approached things very differently that may be a good and a bad thing to a number of you but for today we're just going to focus on the QMAGI software in itself because I'm going to knock this straight out of the park it is bloody brilliant I am really really impressed with this um, I saw a lot of promises when it was first announced but from what I've seen now it is incredible I've loaded this NAS with just over 1200 photos and a bunch of videos to see what it can do and it's worth mentioning that not only have the cataloging skills and the photo tagging um, been just as reliable as I'd hoped, but it's even better than I'd hoped. So QMAGI is an alternative to their photo station application, but it doesn't mean it is a complete replacement. If you go to the photos tab here, we can see all of those photos, which can then be listed as a timeline view and lots of other views can all be selected up here. But What's real interesting is if you go to this tab. It's worth mentioning if you do see a lag on the display, that is because I'm using screen recording software on the PC that's working with this NAS. So the GPU does take a bit of a hit. If we go to the task manager here on my local PC, you will see that um, screen recording does have an impact on the system you're running. So don't blame any lag on the screen on the QNAP. That's largely to do with the screen recording software and Chrome itself being such a hungry beast. Now, if we go to this tab here, the album tab, we can see lots of information about these two key folders here, people and things. Now with people, what it's done is go through these photos and I uploaded, I think some trips last year to Germany. I did it with some um, stuff at Brighton Pride Festival uh, last summer and a bunch of photos from when I was in Taiwan recently for Copytex. So what it's done is catalog and find all of these faces now, uh, there's a few things I'll talk about here. First and foremost, the Buddha here isn't a friend of mine, but he's managed to recognize the face on a statue. But on top of that, there are multiple versions of me, for example, where it's found 38 photos of this guy and, 38, and 15 photos of this guy and 20 photos of this guy, which are all me. But luckily, if we do who is this, so if we do this photo here, that will list all the photos of me there, but what's really impressive if we start to name this, so we go for who is this, we say this is Robbie. Oh, maybe not play with the caps lock so much. We click that, and then that means Robbie is now all of these people. But what's really cool is if we go to who is this here, we can say that is also Robbie. We go here, say that's also Robbie. We'll go for this guy, this is Gerard. My PC's telling me I've got to update, update Defender. Shocking. And again, we can just add people as we go. So if we look for another example of where there's a duplicate of someone, we can have a look at this one. This is Clara. And in this photo, she happens to have um, a fake moustache on her face. So we make that Clara and we head over here. That's Clara again. 
we say Clara, and it really is that straightforward. And then when you start adding photos after this, it will recognize these same people in the photos that you add going forward and add them to these tallies, which is really, really impressive, but not as impressive as the next bit, which is things. Now, in the things tab, the photos that you've added have been analyzed, and with it, you can search for subjects. So for example, food. Now that's something that we talked about before with Synology Moments, and I'll go into more detail in the comparison. But one of the things that I really like about QMaggy is it goes into more detail, such as fried food, such as alcohol, such as there's a meal there, but the same photo is also labeled as bazi, a kind of, um, a kind of dumpling that I had in Taiwan vegetables have been separated now from just food now the food tally has 200 photos and lots of these other tap photos will be in the same album but what's interesting is the fact that the same photo has been tagged in multiple different ways by the QMaggy software so if we scroll down further one of the examples I gave in one of my previous videos was the fact that uh, there are other ones that say uh, wildlife, trees, garden, etc. But here it's managed to identify individual flowers such as hydrangeas, cherry blossoms and more. In fact, the way it's identified different things, drums, wine, different food types, different plant types, different kinds of things, nighttime photos, cattle as in animals. It's a really impressive and automated structure. So how does it do all of this? Well, it does it with a couple of things. One, it does it with deep learning. So it does it with AI support where it will go through your photos with this AI and create these thing tabs. But how does it know where to search and how to search? Well, that is where that multimedia console application comes in. This is the back end of how your NAS in the latest version of QTS sequences and searches through your NAS so for example in here we have the overview showing all the files on my NAS there's over 4,000 photos but we weren't searching all the different directories we were only searching one directory if we go to content management we can then go to each of the individual media applications I've installed on this NAS and there are more I just happen to have installed these and I can direct the NAS to search in these directories and again I know this seems fantastically straightforward and not as special as you think it might be, but you have to realize in the NAS community, this kind of user interface and this simplicity hasn't really existed till now. You think it should have, it definitely should have, but it hasn't. And that's why multimedia contact is such a big deal. When with something like QMaggy that needs to search certain directories or exclude certain directories. So for example, if we want to add another directory here, such as we wanted to add uh, the download folder and more, we can add further directories to where QMaggy will search. And this will add more files if there are files in those directories worth searching for. Likewise, you can exclude directories. They've already got automated ones like recycle bins, but you can exclude directories that you don't want the software to search. And that isn't just for QMaggy, that goes for all the different kinds of software on your QNAP NAS. And with regards to indexing, once you've added directories, it will do automatic searches of your NAS for new content within those directories and sequence them within QMaggy whenever you need. But you can do an actionable automated one like I'm gonna do now. Actually, I won't do it yet. I'll go through the options and then show you how easy it is. Next, thumbnail generation. You can go here and then look at the thumbnail generation of how and where thumbnails are generated. You can delete old unnecessary ones and create a schedule. So thumbnail generation is done when you're not in the habit of accessing the NAS and therefore not experiencing slowdown when you need those uh, thumbnails generated on large photo collections. Transcoding can be done in the background like with most NASs, but now you've got a better overview of how and where you transcode and where those files live. The multimedia app suite is where we can go into more, uh, more detail and more control on the different applications that you are using with Multimedia Console and boot them directly from this list of apps. And from the 
AI engine, this is the engine and basically the back end of the QMAGI core that's doing all the work. And you can get that to restart. And if there's upgrades, of which I'm being told there will be, frequent updates to the QMAGI core, this, allow, this allows you to have an even better experience with QMAGI going forward. Now, as stated, QMAGI is very, very cool in my opinion. I think the way it sequences different things and the way you can tailor it and control it is very interesting indeed. And moreover, in the comparison with Synology Moments, when I mentioned that they will have a different target demographic and the way they're used, that is by no means an exaggeration. I think QMaggie is definitely designed at more Android users, more Windows users, and those that like to have a lot more control um, of their photos. There's more to it than that, but I'll save some of that for the comparison. But this has been my overview of QMaggie, uh, the beta, and QMaggie Core and Multimedia Console beta, uh, for QNAT NAS. Do check out my comparison between this and Synology Moments very, very soon, and I look forward to telling you the good, the bad, and of course, the ugly. See you later. I'll see you on the next video.